Okay, today we're going to talk about the importance of covering a clamp. The reason we cover a clamp isn't to stop the sheet being blown away by the wind. We want to keep that sheet as close to the, the top of the side as we can, because air is our biggest enemy. Okay? So if we made a nice silage and rolled it well, what we want to do, we want to put a cling film sheet, flat sheet, and ideally a woven sheet on top of it. But that in itself isn't enough. If we just put um, the sort of the uh, sausages or whatever in various places, air can still penetrate under the, the sheet. So what we want to do is to weigh that down completely to stop any air getting between the sheet and, and flapping. So because the air will travel further back and start the heating process well before we actually start feeding that yeah. silage. So by touching tyres, ideal, because they're nice, easy, fairly light. Problem with tyres are they can have wires breaking through and they're dirty and wet and horrible to put on and off. But they do a damn good job. Maybe then, um, if we're not going to use tyres, the more modern thing is mats. But don't be sort of fooled that, you know, you can have a mat every sort of here and there. We need mats pretty close to each other. And without a woven sheet, they probably need to be cl closer. Because with a woven sheet, the woven sheet will pull it, up, pull it down, whereas a, a plastic sheet will tend to bow. So, mats, ideal. But if we've got a signage that we know is a bit dry, or a bit fluffy, so the top isn't compacted as well as we'd like, and we know it's going to be into We can find this quite often with sometimes we're caught out with some dry weather or the harvest have broke down on grass silages, or on whole crop especially. What it's ideal to do, if we can and if it's safe, is to put something like big bales on top of the silage. Okay? Because if you look at a silage clamp, typically it's going to be cold in the bottom, and as we come up, it gets hotter. So at the top, it's at the hottest. Why is that? It's the same side, it's all, in all of this. The reason it's cold in the bottom, it's got the weight of the top on top. And at the top, there's no weight. So if we can put big bales or something on top of it, they will squash that down and have the effect of more silage on top of it, keeping it compacted, stopping air getting in. And if we can stop air getting in, we'll stop it.